Welcome into the Cowboys Report. I am Tom Downey. It's mailbag time, as always, answering your questions as part of Thursday's live show. First up from Jimmy Welsh. What do you guys what do you guys fear our division rivals drafting? Giants is probably getting like Sauce Gardner and a premier offensive lineman. Eagles with two first round picks. I mean, they're they're gonna have good opportunities. Hopefully they do another Jalen Rager over Justin Jefferson move. That'd be nice. I would say receiver and Trent McDuffie for them. And then commanders, I would be worried if Kyle Hamilton fell to them at 11. That would be kind of an unideal outcome for me. From Christopher Bishop, I think we add anyone else in free agency. Help me. Um, I think what ends up happening is they will look after the draft at help. So if they don't get a guard early, I bet they sign somebody. If they don't get an edge early, I bet they sign somebody as well. So I think they will add a player or two in free agency. They've done that before. They've spent on guys like Everson Griffin, which didn't work out that well. But I would not be surprised if that was the route they did pursue. From Grant Rain, H2O. If guard and wide receiver are wiped out at 24, what do you think about Devontae Wyatt with the first pick? Uh, Upside-wise, I'm intrigued. He's a really good athlete, fits as a three technique. He is a little bit older than what I think you would prefer to have in your first round pick, if, if of course, all things are, are equal from that standpoint. But he's got really great athletic ability. He is 24 as a rookie, and he's a bit more of a traits guy than a full-fledged production guy. The film guys like him, I understand that, but the production was not great. The pressure rate was pretty solid. He also got to be comfortable off the field with Devontae Wyatt from uh, family, vi family violence charges that were later dropped in 2020. So you, you got to be careful on that front as well. Dennis Danwell, if you trade up for one player, who would it be, I assume you meant there? Um, good question. I think I'd take Evan Neal in particular, who can be my left guard right now, plug him in there, day one, slot him in at that position, and then whenever Tyron gets hurt again or whenever his career is over, there's my left tackle of the future. Other names I think are your premium trade-up targets. Kayvon Thibodeau, since I, I'm not even putting in Trayvon Walker, Hudson, I don't think those guys are going to be there. Ike McWanu fits the same mold as Evan Neal. Hamilton is a guy I love, but eh, safety is not a big-time area, so, you know, probably not going to be a focal point there. And if you're panicking on Kelvin Joseph, Sauce Gardner is, is better regarded by the NFL than Derek Stingley is. So I, wanna, I want you to have freedom on this question. It doesn't have to be realistic. could be in a trade-up or they magically fall down Laramie Tunsil Bong style to you. Who is your dream draft pick for the Dallas Cowboys this year? Let me know in the comments at the pinned comments of today's video. From Jimmy Welsh, am I crazy to think London is the best receiver this year? My top three in no order are London, Garrett Wilson, and Jamison Williams. I've got Wilson as my number one guy, but I like London a lot. Uh, I think he's a really good football player who isn't the contested catch guy he's been made out to be. I doubt he's there in round one, but of the of like the guards and receivers the Cowboys have met with, he's actually going to be my highest grader of that entire bunch. From Jacob, realistically, how many fifth to seventh rounders make the team? Well, I would have said not all of them last year, and then they all made the team last year. So you've got four fifths and a sixth this year. You can normally count on one or two UDFAs making the team. I would say you probably put the over-under at four of those five, but the Cowboys like to give their draft picks a chance, even if that means cutting a draft pick from a previous year to make room for them. From Nate Rosario, trade for Debo and draft Alec Pierce. So you don't need both of those things. Um, I like Alec Pierce a lot, so if you can get him in the third, which would be my dream, I don't know if he's there, but if you can get him in the third, I'd be all for that. I think that would bring you some outside vertical speed uh, that you don't really have uh, right now. I love Debo, but I'm not going to get my hopes up on that one. The entire 2022 NFL Draft will be live on Chat Sports with your boy anchoring the coverage there. So if you haven't already, 
go follow us on the Chat Sports YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash Chat Sports TV. That link will be in the comment section and in the description. Roger Moore. Been doing some mocks, and when I pass on a guard in round one, I normally end up with Dylan Parham. That is the guard slash center from Memphis in the third. Is that a good spot for him, and would he start? I think if you took a guard in the third round, you'd be hoping he start. I have him in the third. I actually kind of wonder if he's going to end up being a center. Kind of a, a, a bit of a weird tweener. He's played right guard, right tackle, left guard. He's a pretty good athlete, but he reportedly played under 290, but then bulked up to 311 at the Combine. He's 23 as a rookie. There are some power issues, and I think you might play him as center to help cover that up. But whether it's guard or center, if you take him in the third round, I think you would hope he starts for you, yeah. Anthony Gregory. Hey, fellas, good evening. Good evening, even though it is uh, 325 for us. Uh, is it me, or do you feel the Cowboys need to make a splash other than free agency the draft? I think you got to add talent. Um, I don't love trading up. I don't even think you have to make a splash. I think you have to commit a little bit better than, than what you've been doing. Um, I think you have to be more willing to spend in free agency. And that's been my... They, they do a good job in the draft. Free agency, not so much. Trey Smith, an elite profile pick. Debo Samuel in the Cowboys jersey. Asking, should we try to trade for Chase Claypool? I don't think Pittsburgh is really going to deal him. And if they do, it's because they're kind of done with him. Like, that's the mindset. Um, like, with his problems sometimes of focus and whatnot and drops out there on the field, he doesn't bring the speed I'm looking for in, in a trade option. Um, I think he'd be, if the Steelers do trade him, they don't want him or he's too expensive. So I wouldn't consider Claypool the most likely trade target out there at receiver. If you want daily Cowboys videos on the Dallas Cowboys report, then subscribe. It's that simple. We're free, always will be. So if you haven't already, hit that big red button and subscribe today. Travis Presatch, can we fire Mike and promote Kellen yet? I mean, you can. I don't know if Kellen's the guy you want to promote after the way the season ended. Things were not very good uh, offensively down the stretch. So maybe that's not the route you want to go at this point. From Vince, could Zion Johnson or Kenny Green become what the for the Cowboys anything close to what Slater for the Chargers is? I mean, technically sure, but probably not. I mean, we're not talking about Kenyon Green, Zion Johnson being potential top ten picks or the best tackle in this year's class. Talk about those guys being, you know, top twenty five ish picks. They should be at least one should be on the board for the Cowboys in round one and being good left guards for you. Uh, Slater is a is a franchise young left tackle but Kenyon Green Zion Johnson will carry that type of talent or upside as far as I'm concerned or positional value blacked out 95 who is your nightmare pick in round one uh something wild like the Cowboys take Quay Walker over one of the guards or the receivers uh the true nightmare which I don't think is gonna happen the true one is like Brees Hall in the first that's my nightmare you, you take another back in round one. I don't think th I don't think they'll do that, but that's my nightmare scenario. So with that in mind, let me know in the comments. Who do you not want the Cowboys to draft? Any player, almost any position, but let me know. Who do you not want the Cowboys to take this year? From Austin, who are some round three guys at receiver you think will fit in Dallas? I mean... I'd love to get Alex Pierce. Al Alex Pierce, I don't know if he's going to be there, though. Um, I don't think John Mechie or Jalen Tolbert are there. So I'm looking at guys that I think would be there. How about three slot guys for you? Wandale Robinson from Kentucky, Khalil Shakur out of Boise, and then uh, the name, Calvin Austin out of Memphis. All three bring you some more juice in the slot than what you might have had in recent years. Dusty Rhodes, what premier player – could you see fall to us at 24 that we would take as a position of need? I would. L I don't think he's there, but I would love Charles Cross to fall to you at 24. I, I think it's way more likely he goes like 13 than he goes 24. Um, but if that's like your premier both value and position, that's the name I think the Cowboys would have interest in. Adolfo, the Apache. 
like the, or Aldo, the Apache, like, like the helicopter. Uh, do you think the Cowboys are in trouble if Kelvin Joseph doesn't play next year or ever? I mean, it changes their plan long term. We all wanted a corner last year because we were worried about Anthony Brown and Jordan Lewis. And then both guys played really well. Um, so you don't feel as bad about the cornerback room as you did last year. If he doesn't play, then you wasted a second rounder. Kind of feels like for now that the Cowboys are going to try to ride this out and see what happens down the stretch. So I don't think they're going to drastically change their plans right now as it relates to the cornerback spot. So when it comes to the draft, do you trust the Cowboys? Be honest with me. Do you trust them in the draft? Round one, yes. Round two, eh, a little inconsistent there. Later rounds, some good promise. They're relative to other teams. I do, but I want to hear from you. Why for yes and for no. Nick McClain, Tom and Jeremy can't wait for the draft. Coming for football again, already missing it. Hey, the USFL is on. You can watch that too. Um, I think Jeremy put this one up because you put his name in there. So good job, Nick. Smart on that front there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to football being back too. From Leroy Pearson Jr. I think it's Pearson. Uh, what are your thoughts on signing Emmanuel Sanders and possibly drafting Sky Moore or Calvin Austin? Uh, I like the idea of adding Sanders as a, as a veteran. Maybe let him compete for one of those vet spots. Doing both of those, it, the numbers crunch starts to happen at receiver a little bit. Um, I would love Sky Moore in the second. Would love Calvin Austin in the third in terms of like the realistic spots where maybe they're there. I'm not sure Sky Moore is going to fall to you, though, in the second. From Lau Zalazar, if we win one playoff game and lose in, in, in the divisional round, is McCarthy gone? Ooh, good question. Uh, maybe, probably would be my guess. Depends on how you lose. Like, if you lose on some BS, uh, refs throwing flags for 15 iron throwing balls on Thanksgiving, eh, you know, maybe not. But, you know, if, if, the, if you lose the game because the shades are open again at AT&T Stadium, eh, you, maybe you're still mad at the head coach at that point. So, um, very possible. I will need to know how it goes down because the way this year went down didn't make you feel good about McCarthy either. From C's Frog, draft Malik Willis, have him learn and see if Dak can be that top five QB. If not, we go full rebuild. Yeah, to be honest, C's, I think, I think this idea is dumb. Um, like, just to, to be clear, like, you're drafting Malik Willis, not paying him, and then rebuilding with a young QB who you don't know if is, is any good. If, if, if you're not sold on Dak being the top five QB that you want, okay, that's fine. Don't draft somebody right now. Like, like, if you're drafting Malik Willis in round one, that's your guy. Then you are Just like Jalen Hurts in round two, that's your guy. You are committing to it. So you can't go both ways because now you're not helping your team. You haven't made your team any better. And frankly, if you're lucky, Malik Willis is a starter in the NFL. So if you're not sold on Dak, okay. I can kind of see where you're coming from, I guess. But drafting a QB in round one this year isn't the way of going about it. If you want to go full rebuild, then move on from Dak and then get your QB. Don't take the QB while you have Dak at this point. If we did not get to your questions, and there were a lot of them, as always, hit me up on Twitter at WhatGoingDowny. That way you don't miss out, and I can hit all of your questions, whatever you have, on the Dallas Cowboys. My DMs, after all, are open for that exact reason. On Twitter, at WhatGoingDowny.